Hello there, Mickey here and in this video, I show you what to expect if you decide to take a tour of Windsor Castle, the Queen's royal residence in England. My name is Mickey, keep watching. Founded by William the Conqueror in the 11th century, Windsor Castle is the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world. It covers 13 acres of land. This majestic castle has been the home of 39 monarchs for almost 1000 years and presently an official residence of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. A lot of royal events has been held at Windsor Castle including the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Some sections of Windsor Castle is open to the general public and I will share my experience hoping to give you an idea of what to expect when you decide to visit. 23 miles west of London, Windsor Castle is accessible through trains from London stations to Windsor and Eaton Central, also known as Windsor Royal Station. Also, there are a lot of free parking space if you decide to drive. Address to pull into your sad nav is Windsor SL4 1NJ. Straight from the car park, you are greeted by a cafe and a shop where you can get memorabilia even before your tour. There is also a public toilet where you can empty your bladder in preparation of your tour. Apart from the Royal Train on Show, the Royal Station is packed with cafes where you can grab a bite before your tour and you can also shop. Imagine in the horizon from the Royal Station is the magnificent walls of the castle. It is massive. If you arrive early enough, you get a chance to witness the change of the guards, which is a hit around here. I'm a ceremonial warden, I'm a volunteer. And there's uh, 20 of us that are volunteer wardens, and we're out every guard change. And at the moment, every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, to see the changing of the guard. The changing guard starts at 10 to 11 from the barracks, they march up the hill, and into the castle at 11 o'clock. And the wall behind me, see that wall behind me? That's the parade ground there. The guard, new guard and old guard will change there. And at 20 past 11, the old guard will come parade back and go to the Awaiting the change of the gas ceremony, I couldn't help but to wonder how much these properties will cost. But this will be a topic for another day. After the changing of the gas ceremony, you can now proceed to the entrance which is normally full of long queues. At the entrance, you go through an airport style security checks and your ticket will be scanned. Talking about tickets, it costs from free up to £28.50 for this tour depending on the day of tour and age of visitor. Please visit lct.uk forward slash visit forward slash Windsor dash castle. Link will be left at the video description. After security check, you get to an area where you can get another chance to have a toilet break. I'm sure at this point you've noticed how important toilet breaks are to me. There is nothing more annoying than being distracted by nature's call whilst enjoying a nice moment. To your right, there is also a family area where you and the family can take a breather before you proceed. Upon entry, you realize how majestic this castle is. You are allowed to take photographs at the outside areas of the castle, so be sure to bring your cameras along. With the famous round tower in view, you can then proceed through the majestic entrance, which is pretty cool. On your way in, do not forget to pick up your free audio guide, which serves as a virtual tour guide. It gives you information about buildings and monuments. I can assure you will get more from your tour by using it. Upon entry, I will recommend you turn left to experience one of the nicest chapels in England, St. George's Chapel. 
The details in the design of St. George's Chapel is so intriguing and to know that all designs, monuments, statues and tombs have a historical significance is mind-blowing. It was also surprising to know that these houses on the left are occupied by non-royals. St. George's Chapel is one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture of England and is noted for its magnificent stone fan vaultry. It is the spiritual home of the Order of Gata, the senior order of British chivalry, established in 1348 by Edward II. Within St. George's Chapel are tombs of about 10 sovereigns, including the Queen's father, King George VI, and her husband, Prince Philip. The details that went into the design and the creation of St. George's Chapel is indeed intriguing and pleasing to the eyes. As I said earlier, there is a history behind every statue in the cathedral, so be sure to listen to your audio guide for this information. Next on the tour is to the State Apartment via the North Terrace, where you can have a beautiful view of the castle from a different angle. Within the State Apartment are some of Windsor's most impressive rooms, furnished with some of the greatest treasures from the Royal Collection put together by kings and queens over the last 500 years. You also get to see armors and weapons of past kings. There are also tapestries and memorabilia from other Commonwealth countries on show. You get to see the Queen's banquets and dining hall and even the cutleries that are used to serve her guests. There is the Waterloo Chamber where members of the Gata sit around the Waterloo table which is laid with silver gilt including Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee centerpiece. You get to see the throne room and even bedrooms of past monarchs. You also get a view of the famous Long Walk. Without giving it all away, it's safe to say that the Royal State Apartment is packed with so much history to last you a long tour. This side of the castle is out of bounds to the general public, but from afar, you can catch a glimpse of the Royal Guards pacing themselves. After the tour of the State Apartment, you can then take a stroll down to go and have another look of the Guards, enjoy the view from here, and to hand over your free audio guides. The Windsor town itself is full of shops and cafes, so do have a look around. I'll be doing a walkthrough video of the town of Windsor, so please be sure to check it out. I hope this video was helpful, if so please give it a like, please subscribe to come on my journey of experience, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.